They say a third time's the charm. So here's the third and last batch of the longest day actors. The list I found on IMDb has 145 names. Now I have covered 31 of those in part one and 43 in the addendum, which leaves after subtracting the three names with scene deleted, 68 actors. Now, I'm not spending the time and effort to research these generally minor characters. I do have a few comments about a few of the cast, but I'll leave those until the end. Now, for the next six minutes, you will get the actor's name, the name or description of the character portrayed, the total number of movie and television roles they have played, the span of their careers, and a picture if possible. There are a few symbols to be aware of. Now, a yellow X means external. The picture is from a source not related to the movie because I couldn't find them there. A red question mark means possibly or even likely. Most information available, including the picture, strongly suggests that's the right person, but there's no real proof. And a green S on actors who are also credited as stunt performers. Okay? Let's get this over with.
don't go away. I have a few comments and questions. First and foremost, this is not an official list. It did not come from 20th Century Fox or the Zanuck Estate or anything like that. The data was submitted by movie viewers. And that's how IMDB works. These viewers may have had some reliable sources or they may have recognized someone. The list is labeled as verified as complete. It is not labeled as verified as accurate. I have a vague suspicion a few of these actors are cases of mistaken identity. Now I have found maybe a half dozen British soldiers myself who look almost identical. A couple of commentators on uh, previous parts have been able to set me straight on a few of them, uh, for which I am eminently grateful. But there's still more, like the guy on the right here. Now, we all know Bernard or Bernard Fox from Hogan's Heroes and Bewitched. But who is he talking to? Now, to my ignorant American eye, Findlay, Medwin, Goodwin, and Fowler look enough alike to be brothers, as does this guy. Is he one of them, just in a different setting, or a totally different one of those half-dozen British soldier characters? How about that courier who gets gunned down at the beginning? And the distinguished-looking American colonel talking to Captain Stagg about the weather. And how about those actors listed as playing non-existent characters? Victor Mattern as Camp Cook. What Camp Cook? Neil McCollum as Canadian Doctor. There were, quite shamefully, no Canadians in the movie. Or just plain wrong. Hartmut Reck was on the list as Sergeant Bernhard Bergsdorf, Pips Priller's wingman. That pilot's name was really Sergeant Heinz Wodarsik. Alexander Renaud, the mayor of saint mer Eglise was still alive, and according to this cast list, actually appeared in the fire scene, as well as credited with fire stunts. I watched it a few more times and concluded that if he really was there, it would be this gentleman. I think it would have been uh, an emotional moment for actor George Wilson meeting him. But you know, I wouldn't be at all surprised if one or two of those actors listed weren't actually even in the movie. Has anybody found Richard Dawson yet? And one other bit of trivia. Sergei Tolstoy, listed as German officer, uncredited, was a great-grandson of Leo Tolstoy. You know, war and peace and all that. Well, I think that's enough. We have come to the end of our journey. Thank you all for watching. Do all the YouTube support stuff. Comment, like, subscribe. You know the drill. Or better yet, buy me a coffee. Please.